Hannah are back together? Yep. And thanks in part to moi. You just can't help but meddle, can you? Nope. So my DNA. And this is an instance of meddling I am particularly proud of. I kept Henry from making a colossal mistake. Something tells me that guy'd be serving a life sentence somewhere if it wasn't for you. Well, you do the medical life saving, I do the emotional. It's nice to be good at something, isn't it? I had a pretty damn good day today. The mayor had a minor breakthrough. You got a side back? I said minor, not major. We're still a long way from success on that front, but it was a step in the right direction. Well, that's great. No one must be over the moon. Yeah, you'd think. But... I don't know. I'll never understand the human heart. Yeah, I've been telling you that since we met. Something tells me this has something to do with Luke. Luke's supposed to be the love of Noah's life, right? Right. But Noah dumps him because he claims he doesn't want to be overly dependent on him. Well, don't judge him too harshly. What he's going through can't be easy. No, it's not. It's horrible. So why choose to do that by yourself? Luke's willing to do anything for him, but Noah doesn't want that. He breaks up with Luke because Luke loves him too much? I don't know. I thought you were the doctor who prided himself on not giving a damn about his patient's personal life. Yeah, I never had to deal with both members of the couple on a professional level. Still, why do you care? Luke's willing to do anything for Noah, including blackmail, which, yeah, don't ask. But Noah's willing to chuck it all away for, I don't know what, pride? It's, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, my God, Dr. Oliver. What? You have a thing for Luke, don't you? I do not have a thing for Luke Snyder. You know, it's his fault that I'm stuck in this one-horse town to begin with. Yeah, but a lot's changed since then. You even decided to stick around this one-horse town. Thanks to a very generous offer from Bob Hughes. And some very generous help from Luke. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. The guy thinks he can buy and sell anything, including people. And something tells me you don't find that half as unattractive as you'd like people to believe. The guy is completely hung up on Noah. Okay, as soon as Noah gets his eyesight back, they're gonna be back together. And that doesn't make you jealous at all. Katie. What? Luke and Noah are destined to have a very long life together. They're the gay Bob and Kim. Just hang on to those decorations. You can use them when they celebrate their 25th anniversary. Okay, fine. Whatever you say. Oh, what's wrong? One matchmaking success a week isn't enough for you? Why don't you have a life of your own? I have a baby and a job. I don't have time for a life. And don't try to turn this around on me. We were talking about your love life. And now we're done talking about it. If you'll excuse me, I have a phone call to make. Oh, hold on. I have another call coming in, and I have to take it. All right, thanks. This is Luke. Mr. Snyder, this is Dr. Oliver. I have something I need to tell you. <laughs> about my brilliant idea? I've got tons more where that came from. No, it's about Noah. What about him? We had some good news today. Really? What? You should ask him. And you didn't hear this from me. Dr. Oliver. Hello? What? appointment with Dr. Oliver go? <laughs> good. No, better have been good. Well, do you want to tell me all about it? Sure. Yeah, have a seat. Um... 